Costa Rica is an amazing country that will take your breath away. The coastal mountains and white sand beaches are a great way to relax and enjoy the sun. Crystal clear waters border the country, wrapping you in blue oceans. Costa Rica's 4.8 million inhabitants will welcome you with joy and a piece of their culture. Costa Rica also includes a variety of sports and festivals that are sure to keep you busy. So many people ask why Costa Rica is so amazing and how it came to what it is today. This documentary will help you take a journey back in time and explore Costa Rica. The people of Costa Rica have been influenced by the Spanish since their very creation. The Spanish have formed and molded the Costa Rican culture, making it into what it is today. The Costa Ricans run a farming type agriculture and most of their exports come from bananas and coffee. The Spanish culture and people take up a whopping 83% of the population and religion in Costa Rica. On another note, slavery has never been a big thing in Costa Rica, but back in 1873, the Atlantic Railroad imported 653 Chinese indentured laborers to work the fields and the railroads. African American slaves aren't a commodity at all in Costa Rica. As a matter of fact, only 8% of the Costa Rican population is African American people. There are also 104,000 Native Americans that have helped form the country as well. Many other tribes inhabit the area and even take up 2.8% of the population. Costa Rica is located 10 degrees north of the equator and 84 degrees west of the prime meridian. Costa Rica also borders Panama, Nicaragua, as well as the Atlantic and Caribbean Sea. The 1,228 kilometers of coastline in Costa Rica just proves that it is an amazing place to live, to visit, or live. Costa Rica displays a wide variety of mountain ranges and coastal plains. Another reason my country is very interesting is because you can change from beaches to plains to mountains in less than a square mile. Most of the population in Costa Rica is centered towards the middle of the country because it's surrounded by mountains and all major rivers and all of the major river systems like the Colorado River, the Cure River, and many other systems draining into the center of the country. Costa Rica's flora and fauna is very diverse and interesting. While Costa Rica only contains 25% of the world's landmass, it contains about 5% of the world's biodiversity, meaning that it is very dense with rainforests and animals. Also, Costa Rica's flora is very diverse and is protected by the national park. It boasts over 9,000 species of flowering plants and 8,000 species of ferns. Some trees can grow up to 100 feet tall and they absorb about 90% of the photosynthesis. Costa Rica's fauna is what, co is what made Costa Rica an amazing country. The abundance of animals provides tourists with a boatload of wildlife. You'll always see colorful birds flying around above you and native animals crawling around you. There are over 200 species of mammals, 800 species of birds, 220 species of reptiles, and 200 species of amphibians, and over 2,000 species of insects. So many people come to Costa Rica just for the flora and fauna, and that has been one of the most popular attractions for decades. Back in the early 1900s, tourism wasn't a big factor in the daily life of Costa Rica and didn't bring in very much money. Most of the export income and profit was from bananas and coffee, but after 1982, tourism was the highest source of income and it has been ever since. So many people like to visit Costa Rica, it has recently become the most visited country in the Central American region. There has to be a reason for all the fame and I have it right here for you. It's not the people, food, or culture of Costa Rica, but actually the stunning geographical features and flora and fauna. Most people that live on the inner parts of countries like to experience the feel of the beach being one mile away from you. Also, the flora and fauna attract many people. Luckily, all of this tourism has brought Costa Rica up in the financial charts. Another reason that Costa Rica is so tourism-based is because of a variety of things to do. You can climb on some of the volcanoes, hike the rainforests, play on the beach, or even go whitewater rafting. For all of the fishermen out there, Costa Rica is one of the best countries to go for sport fishing. There are so many fun activities in Costa Rica, it's obvious why it's the most visited country in Central America. Costa Rica has always relied on the major crops they grow, like bananas and coffee. Costa Rica was never a major industrial country, but they did manufacture 
manufacture some exports like baseballs, agricultural chemicals, and some electronics. Back in the 1960s, beef and sugar started adding to the popular export list and almost overruled coffee and bananas. The government had four branches, the executive, unicameral, legislative assembly, the judiciary, and the supreme electoral tribunal. When it came to social classes, most upper class families descended from Spanish conquistadors, middle class families came from average Spanish families, while the lower class people could be different races or people that used to live in different countries. As you can see, Costa Rica's economy is all based off of power and descent. Costa Rica is a unique country, and as you can see, this is its flag. As you can see in these pictures, Costa Rica has a unique state. Costa Rica's surroundings are Nicaragua and Panama. Costa Rica was discovered by Christopher Columbus. Costa Rica gained independence from Spain as part of the Mexican Empire and the Central American Federation. In 1824, it annexed much of the province from Nicaragua in the 1850s, Costa Rica's troops joined Nicaragua to defeat William Walker's pro-slavery. As you can see in this picture, Costa Rica looks like paradise. Now, let's talk about Costa Rica's economy. Costa Rica's economic freedom score is 67.2, making its economy the 51st freest in the 2015 index. Its overall score has increased by 0.3 from last year, reflecting improvement in labor freedom and freedom from corruption that outweigh a combined decline in monetary freedom, business freedom, and the control government spending. Costa Rica is ranked 10th of out of 29 countries in South and Central America, and its overall score is higher than the global and regional averages. Now, I'll be talking about Costa Rica's culture. Many of Costa Rica's dishes may include corn, rice, or beans, or mainly chicken. Costa Rica has many events throughout the year, like Christmas, and many more. Uh, they celebrate an event called De La Lu. In this event, Costa Rica has lots of ball dancing and festivals going on. Over 90% of Costa Rica's country is Roman Catholic. The flag has many colors, blue, white, red, and a national emblem. First, blue stands for the blue sky. Next, white represents the clear thinking, happiness, wisdom, and power. Finally, red stands for the warmth with love for life. Bienvenida a Costa Rica. The beautiful Costa Rica has beautiful beaches, very cool forests, volcanoes, and very awesome activities. But Costa Rica hasn't always been like this. It was founded on September 15, 1821. The early life in Costa Rica was hunting and gathering. In 1502, Christopher Columbus made a landfall in Costa Rica. Soon after Costa Rica was conquered by Guatemala and became part of, the, part of New Spain, for the next 100 years, Costa Rica was, was a part of the colonies of Spain. The war lasted a few years. After the war ended against Spain, the Spanish migrated down to what is now Nicaragua. Costa Rica joined the other Central American industri industries in a joint declaration of independence from Spain. Spanish colonies, Costa Rica enjoyed the last influence as a colony. It was initially a tough and unpopular place to settle, with few val valuable or easily exploited resources. The Spanish were far more interested in developing their holdings in Mexico and Peru where the vast amounts of silver and gold were being obtained. When Mexico re rebelled against Spain in 1821, Costa Rica and the rest of Central America followed. Two years later,
Rica is a beautiful place that everyone dreams of going to. With its tropical rainforests and beautiful landscapes, why wouldn't you want to go there? The indigenous people who live there are quite kind. They are welcoming and open to visitors. There are hardly any indigenous people left in this country, however. Most of them live in the mountains. When a government sustained there, almost everyone went to the city or deep in the mountains. Many tourists come these days to visit Costa Rica's beautiful places. There's tons of different fruits, too, like bananas. Not many bananas are visible when you drive through the plantations, for they are covered with blue bags for protections from insects and rain. Guidelines are needed for each of the trees to prevent uprooting due to strong winds and rain-softened ground. Monorail tracks are used to transport bunches of bananas from fields to processing. Workers hang the bunches from chains attached to small trollers, then push them along the track. There are some beautiful flowers, too, of course. There is the parrot flower, which I find a fascinating flower. Now I continue to the animal. Costa Rica is home to around 175 amphibians, which is 85% of which is frogs, and approximately 225 reptiles are found in Costa Rica. For mammals, Costa Rica is home to nearly 250 species of mammals. Medium-sized forest-dwelling mammals are often the most appreciated mammals of the country. These include four species of monkeys, such as the frantic white-headed capuchin and noisy mantled howlers, two species of sloths, the opportunist white-nosed cody, and the fierce predator, the tyra. There are also predators, too. The jaguar is the largest wildcat in Costa Rica and can grow up to two meters. They are very rare in Costa Rica, and their numbers continue to decline drastically. Jay spends most of its life in trees and is the best cat climber because it can twist its ankle up to 180 degrees. The puma is the second largest cat in Central America and its fur is brown and unspotted. There used to be black panthers in Costa Rica but they became extinct from the area. Most big cats in Costa Rica are nocturnal or hide in trees in the rainforest like the market. The most likely place to find a big cat is in the Simon Boulevard Zoo in San Jose, in San Jose, Costa Rica, where there is a selection of all the native big cats along with the other animals. Ocelots usually hunt on the ground at night and rarely climb trees. An ocelot's diet consists of birds, monkeys, rats, and other small animals. The little small cat is the smallest wild cat and does not grow bigger than a house cat. They live in cloud forests up to 3,200 meters tall. Then there are the most amazing birds, too. 894 bird species have been recorded in Costa Rica. Scarlet macaws are a common species of Costa Rica. Unlike many bird species, macaws form a breeding pair and are together for life. Mo both males and females help care for the young and raise chicks for up to two years before they fledge. Threats to the macaw includes the popularity in pet trade. One individual can be sold for up to a thousand dollars. And last but not least, but definitely the smallest, there are the hummingbirds too. Hummingbird species demonstrate adaption with bill and size. Certain species have specialized bills that allow them to feed from the flowers of certain species of plants. The relationship between the hummingbird and the plant is mutil mutilistic because the hummingbird transfers pollen between plant individuals in exchange for the nectar. Because different species of hummingbirds are adapted to specific plants, pollination to the right plants will make sure that it is a good plant. The mangrove hummingbird specializes in feeding the tea mangrove plant. Now we come back to the native people. Corn was vitally important to the Chortica culture and affected the indigenous people's agriculture, customs, artistic forms, and religious belief. Corn was the basis of their diet, along with beans, squash, cocoa, meat, and fish. The Chortica had an active economic life with commerce and markets and a semi-democratic social stu structure in which chiefs were elected. Cocoa beans served as a currency. This country is such a beautiful place to vacation and a great place to party.